Uh, hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the next seven days. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. This is a preview, right? I mean, so the next seven days isn't yesterday. It's ahead. So the next seven days, what do we have? Perhaps this is for you. It may or may not be. Let's see what's going to come up for Pisces. What does Pisces need to hear or know or see or something like that? <laughs> Apparently you know, right? You guys may be keeping to yourselves. Perhaps you are using silence as your tool. You may be, um, you know, biding your time in a situation or... You know, you may be receiving messages and you're trying to figure out which ones are real and which ones aren't. Um, I believe that you are probably uh, receiving messages quite often. Um, and you're probably, you may even be overwhelmed. You may be overwhelmed with all the things that you're hearing in your head. You know, it's like the divine is speaking to you right now. I feel like you are probably seeing a lot of situations clearly. You probably know things um, that others don't know. You're probably keeping it to yourself. Um, highly, highly, highly intuitive at this time. Um, you could be dealing with this person as well, the high priestess. This is a this is a intuitive person. This is a healer. This is um, somebody who delivers intuitive messages. Um, that could be you, okay? It's like, it's like a mystery that really isn't a mystery. You already know, but you'd rather keep it a mystery. Hard to explain. And that's how it is. It's very hard to explain. You're probably feeling a little all over the place this week because of all the messages that you're getting. It's like the divine is speaking to you. They're telling you so much all at once and it's probably a little overwhelming. You may need to take a little bit more time. You may be thinking about leaving a situation or thinking about going back to a situation. You may have been through some emotional disappointment and you need to leave it or you need to let somebody go and you're thinking about it. You're waiting for the message or you're waiting for the guidance, and I think that you're getting the guidance. You, you know, don't doubt what you're hearing. Uh, now this is a this is begging. Um, Queen of Cups. Knight of, you could be dealing with some a thief. Even I'm not sure. I don't know where that's coming from. Um, Stress, depression, you may be feeling depressed. You may be feeling depressed. You may be feeling anxious. You may be feeling worried. There could be some regrets. Somebody could have been left out in the cold. Somebody could have been ghosted. Somebody, you know. Somebody may have slipped away. Somebody may have just slipped away with the full moon that we just had. It is the full moon when this is being recorded. Somebody may be retreating, or maybe it's you that's retreating, and, you know, there could be some some sadness over guilt, regrets, um, depression. Somebody's been left to fend for themselves, or left out in the cold, or just, you know, something is ending. The death card, Some this is the end. I mean, the death is the end, okay? It's the end of something. Endings bring new beginnings. So when one thing, you know, when what happens when things die in the winter, they they come back in the they come back in the spring, or things get replanted in the spring. So when one thing ends, another thing begins. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Now the Queen of Cups. This is mastering your emotions. So maybe that's what you're focusing on. You're trying to master your emotions. Maybe, you know, you're feeling very emotional at this time because something has ended. 
you could have been dealing with somebody that was untrustworthy or somebody that hurt you or somebody that didn't care about your feelings. Yeah, somebody may have misjudged you or somebody didn't judge you correctly or somebody doesn't forgive you or somebody doesn't want to give you a chance or you don't want to give them a chance. It's like there's no chance here. So you could be dealing with somebody who's not awake yet. They're not awakened. Could be you. I don't know. This could always go vice versa. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's lack of awareness here. There's lack of, there's dishonesty as well. Somebody's probably not telling the truth. Could be you, could be the other person. Somebody's not telling the truth. There's dishonesty with these two cards. Hmm. Ooh, we have a union here, a partnership. There's sadness and there's grieving over a partnership that probably has ended. Somebody was offering love. You know, had love to offer, but somebody may not have accepted it. They may not have taken the offer or... Mm. Ooh, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Mm. There's definitely been some dishonesty here. Somebody's been keeping secrets. Somebody has been keeping secrets, okay? Somebody hasn't been telling the truth. Somebody may be obsessed. Somebody may be obsessed with their money, with their job, with their work. We have somebody here that is upset about a partnership I think that has ended I do think it has ended but we haven't we have a new beginning here so we could have with endings bring new beginnings this is this this is an opportunity for a new partnership so yeah we do have an opportunity especially if you are this person that is mastering your emotions it, and I would say that this is probably the feminine there is a feminine here who is mastering their emotions very well this feminine it could be you because Pisces is a feminine sign so it could be male or female it really could um but we have somebody here who is emotionally available, who has a lot of love to offer. And we have a new beginning here. A new partnership is coming into fruition. And it's, it's whether it's brand new or, or, I don't know, this could be somebody coming back. The Eight of Cups could be somebody coming back. Eight of Cups reversed. Somebody that was, somebody that left somebody in the cold, you know what I mean, may want a reconciliation you know, and now you have, or you may want a reconciliation. Somebody, you know, because this is a reconciliation card, and this is wanting to go back. I don't know what that is, but uh, we have this King of Pentacles here, which is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who has something solid to offer, something big. Okay, this is a big, uh, big opportunity to have something solid, something, and this is something that, you know, this person is stable this person is secure this person um works hard works really hard at building things at keeping things at saving things but we have this betrayal here so somebody may be feel be feeling betrayed somebody may be feeling like i mean this person looks like he's turning his back on some deception turn this person is turning his back his or her back really on on somebody that they may feel doesn't only cares about themselves only this person only cares about himself you know I'm gonna hold on to my offer I'm not gonna give you anything if you don't care about me you know you don't give me a chance you know whatever Ooh, Queen of Wands or maybe there's another woman maybe there is another or another person maybe there's another person here that you know oh God Now this is no vision, lack of ambition, 
lack of drive, poor, poor, pitiful me, I can't do this, I can't do that. Somebody hasn't been focused on a relationship. They haven't been putting enough energy into building a relationship. And maybe it's because there's another person. Maybe somebody says, this guy is very suspicious. Pentacles are very suspicious. This person may be turning their back because they think that there's another person because somebody's not focusing on a relationship. They're not putting in effort to a relationship. They're feeling cheated. Takes two. Anyway, um... thinking about going back, anxious, worried, regretful about leaving somebody out in the cold, let, leaving them, letting it end, this is ending. Something has ended or it is going to end. This is a death, okay? This is the end, the end of, you know, being deceived, the end of deception, the <laughs> Jeez, I'm crow. There's my Jeez, I'm crow. You guys ain't heard that in a while, have you? Um, stuck. Absolutely. We got somebody here who is stuck. They aren't moving anywhere. It's like they aren't moving forward. And it's because they don't have any ambition. They don't have any drive. They don't have any get up and go. Uh, restricting themselves. There's fear here. Fear of the unknown. Somebody has been staying in a spot that is troublesome because of their inability to take action. It's like they have no get up and go. When there's an opportunity here, this is a big, huge opportunity down here. You are you you need to be practical. You need to be responsible. You need to work hard. Work hard in dedication and discipline and Basically, discipline and loyalty. I mean, and, and responsibility. If you, you know, if you were to, uh, things could would get better and stabilize and grow into something bigger. But it takes it's going to take a lot of hard work, whatever that means. Here we have a partnership, perhaps with this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn ah, that has been put to a halt, probably put to a complete halt. No movement at all. So yeah, we have a partnership that is very... Well, there's trouble. There's some kind of trouble here. There is. There is. There's there's stress. Somebody's either thinking about leaving this partnership. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like somebody's thinking about leaving a stressful partnership. Maybe in search for something more solid, more stable, more secure. This is not moving forward not doing this. I'm not making one move. This is complete halt. Ah, yeah. Uh, making a cut. This one, this one is, is not afraid to speak her truth. She's not as afraid to, you know, she speaks her truth, um, brash, brashly. There could be some sort of, uh, miscommunication or lack of communication or definite halt in communication. Uh, because if somebody is um, mad, upset, um, bitter, resentful, um, hurt, hurt, somebody is hurt, um, this person may decide that they just want to be alone, I just want to be alone, uh, ooh, there's probably another option, there is another option here, this is a, you know, this is love heals, this is a perfect match. This is a choice, a decision. There's a choice between two people here. Somebody has to make a choice between two people. That is what's going on here. Absolutely. Somebody's going to get upset. And if somebody may have gotten upset because they were left in the cold and said some things that they shouldn't have said. But um, that's what happens when somebody gets hurt. When people get hurt, they say things that they shouldn't say, but whatever. Anyway, um, but here we have a, a connection that is, is beautiful. There's a, it's like this angel is bringing two people together that are, you know, perfect together. 
So there's a, there's a, and, and it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. So there's an opportunity for love here with somebody. I can't see because that light is glaring. Can you see it? There we go. So yeah, we have a, a, a beautiful connection here that is interesting. Um, we have a new beginning. One ending leads to a new beginning. There could be, uh, there even could be, I hate to, I mean, I don't know what this is. This, this could be going back to somebody, but we have something that ends that heads you into some sort of partnership. It does. An ending leads you to a partnership. It's probably with a Gemini or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. That's funny. Or a Gemini Libra Aquarius. So we have Gemini, Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Gemini Libra Aquarius. We also have Scorpio. We had, it doesn't matter who we got. We got everybody here. There probably was a third party. There, there's a choice. A choice between two. So this is a, a choice. And it, this may come unexpectedly. This is an unexpected choice in love. Be prepared. This is a card of consequences as well. So be prepared. And there's be, there's definitely some consequences here, and I think that's what, where all the ang the anxiety is coming from. Consequences for previous actions are on the table here. There's consequences, which has caused bitterness, which has caused resent. We could have somebody here that is fearful. There is fear, fear of the unknown, fearful of going back, or fearful of approaching because of. You know, their their lack of awareness because of their misjudgment, because they didn't focus on a relationship, because they focused on everything but communication, uh, because they involved another woman or another person. There could be some, you know, regrets. But anyway, there's an opportunity for love here either way. And I think your intuition is telling you what to do. So if you are questioning what to do, I want you to ask yourself this. Okay? in silence like go sit outside or something by yourself in the fucking woods excuse my language or outside where there's no people and ask yourself you will get the answer ask yourself what do you want who do you want what does my heart want? And then, without judgment, because somebody has been judging, not listening, without judgment, go with the first answer. Heart, gut, no judgment. Good luck. <laughs>